Hey y'all, uh, I'm here back with another video. Yes, I know this is another little little view or some shit like that. Whatever the case may be. Sorry, I got my bong bong. So I just wanted to come through real fast with a very um I'm gonna try to do like current oh, events and stuff like that. Kinda talk about that here and there. So I just wanted to come to y'all with a few things. Number one, Drake's child. <sighs> the internet oh, I promise you. Well, let me move a little bit. Maybe this is too much. Is that much? Better cut. I don't care. The internet never ceases to amaze me with how dumb people are. So, of course, we all know about I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub. I even got a tatted on me. 81 within the question. Okay. But anyway, we, we know about Adonis, okay? The prince, okay? And so, you know, I guess he found, he figured that today would be a good day to introduce him to everybody. So, he put up a nice little long old post that I did not read because I didn't feel like reading all that shit. But, you know, so I seen just and I was like, oh, look at him. He's a little cutie. When I first seen him, he kind of sort of, because of, like, his hair being all curly like that, he kind of reminded me of um Fab and Emily. Emily's child like the one with the really really curly I think like red hair that's kind of who he reminded me of first except you know it's blonde and I was like oh, okay first thing now I ain't gonna lie first thing I think about when I see that but that's like oh look at your albino ass because that's what I thought I didn't even think oh my gosh he's like just super white I thought that he was albino maybe he is maybe he ain't but that that's just what he looked looked like to me but y'all are all dumb any well anybody who's on the internet talking about some he doesn't look like Drake and y'all using, and what, what people are more so saying when they say that, because a lot of y'all kept saying it, is the fact that he looks too white. Okay, so I need y'all to do math. So I'm terrible at math, right? But let's do the math. Drake is 50% black, right? 50% white. Let's turn to his baby mom. His baby mom, I don't know her, her nationality makeup, but we gonna stick with the race. She is a white woman. Through and through, she's a white woman. She don't even look like she's half and half. I'm talking about as far as having anything black on her. So if you take 25%, I mean, sorry, 50% of his whiteness and then the 100% of her whiteness and you add all of that up together, what is that going to get? So yes, that baby is like 75%, um, probably, I'll give him 75 probably percent white and 25% black. That's pretty much what it gets down to, Okay about that y'all big sister duties my little sister is on my apple music plan she was getting on my nerves was locked out super confused but anyway that's what i was saying so yeah so y'all sitting up here trying to talk about something he wasn't oh he doesn't look black enough maybe because he doesn't have that much black in him how about that and you know this is what the and, and it kills me it literally kills me that after all of this happened that now people want to be on twitter talking about something oh now i get it now i get why he didn't want to show his kid y'all bend it and get that like I'm sorry. People took that line from Pusha T saying, oh, you was, I mean, him saying I wasn't hot in the world. I wasn't hot in my kid from the world. I was hot in my world from the kid. And people tried to say, oh, that's a cop out. It wasn't a cop out. It's some real true shit. Do y'all see what they do to these celebrity babies? Do you see how they treat Blue Ivy? Blue Ivy Carter could buy, literally could buy your whole lineage. But y'all still talk about that little girl like she has done something to y'all. And she is a child. Look at how y'all talk about anybody's fucking child. Hell, even Northwest, y'all talk about people, kids, crazy. So why the hell would he want to subject himself or his child or his child's mother to any of that? So if I just find it funny that now everybody want to be like, oh, I get it now. I get it now. Why couldn't I get it before? That's common fucking sense. He's a fucking the biggest fucking rapper in the whole fucking entire damn globe of course you don't want to fucking show y'all kids because y'all are trifling when y'all found out that he had a kid look at how y'all acted when y'all seen how his baby mom looked look at how y'all acted so why the fuck would he want to show y'all his kid i bet you drake probably put that picture up and then just closed his phone and said he's done for the rest of the day and y'all had that shit trending all day like nobody fucking went to science class this is how i know y'all didn't graduate high school that nobody paid attention in science class nobody paid attention when they was talking about genetics nobody talked about none of that now how about this how about this how about half of y'all find out who y'all baby's father actually is and the other half y'all actually go take care of the kids that y'all have half of y'all on here running your mouth don't even take care of the kids that y'all got now but you worried about him and who the fuck cares adonis could buy your entire lineage and then some so what are you gonna do about it nothing so that's drake okay then what else should i talk about next i'm gonna talk about the real housewives real fast so 
I heard about um shout out to giving you the real tea. I love giving you the real tea. Shout out to him. He is a he's so fucking funny to me. I love him so much. But anyway, I'm a subscriber of his and I'm sorry, I'm only like this in the corner because I'm trying to block this fucking light above my head. Um, but anyway, he had got some tea from somebody pretty much saying that they wanted to get possibly rid of Cynthia because they felt like Cynthia's storyline with Mike was fake and like kind of forced and they also wanted to get rid of Eva. Now, the reasons that he said that they said they wanted to get rid of Eva made, I got it, but if that's the reason y'all want to get rid of me, get rid of me. He said that the people that the source said that they wanted to get rid of Eva because number one, she wasn't talking enough about the whole thing with Kevin McCall. Why would she? If if that's a real situation, why would she want to talk about that? And why would y'all want her to talk about some shit like that? That's dangerous. So that's fuck fuck Andy and fuck the Real Housewives of Atlanta for that for wanting her to talk about that. And number two, they said that they felt like she should have talked about her finances more. And y'all only want to do that because Marlo brought some shit up. That's none of y'all fucking business. I understand that this is the Real Housewives. Of of Atlanta and y'all do what y'all do and y'all in people's business but certain things is none of y'all fucking business and if I was even if y'all wanted to kick me off that show because y'all couldn't know my finances and because y'all couldn't know anything about my crazy low-key needs mental help ass fucking psychotic ass baby father well guess what I guess I'll just kick rocks then I guess I'll just kick rocks y'all are trifling for real Andy is trifling and he's messy as fuck and I'm sorry if that's why y'all want to kick Eva off then kick Eva off. And if I was Eva, I would be perfectly fine with Eva. If that's why y'all want to kick me off. Now, we could talk about some other stuff. I can understand y'all saying that she doesn't open up more and stuff like that. She could open up a little bit more, maybe as far as like her marriage and maybe her being around her kids and stuff like that. But all of that other stuff, that shit's not even safe. It's not even safe. That man is not stable. And y'all want her to come over here and really talk about that? Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, okay? Then they said that they might want to get rid of Cynthia, like I said, because they feel like the whole thing with her and Mike Hill is fake. I don't feel like it's fake. I just feel like it's kind of annoying. I personally love Cynthia. I think she's awesome. I think she's probably, she's literally like the most stunning woman. One of the most stunning women I've ever seen in my life. She's like, she doesn't, the bitch don't fucking age. Like her, how, how is it even fair? I think about this all the time. How is it even fair that Cynthia and Leon were allowed to be together? Y'all should, that type of fineness should never even be allowed that's why noelle is like damn near perfection because cynthia and leon like that shit just should have been illegal the minute y'all even touched each other shouldn't be illegal y'all are so fine but um i don't think that it's fake i just don't care no shade i love cynthia and i'm happy that she's happy but i just don't care enough about her and mike hill y'all cared when cynthia was on here with messy ass peter because peter was the one holding the peach and because of all of this drama and stuff so y'all don't in my opinion y'all probably don't want cynthia anymore because she doesn't really bring any drama and we're doing the same story about over and over and over and over again with her and nini and her and kenya and we're fucking tired of it now they said that they might be bringing back phaedra and they might be bringing back Sheree. okay this is my opinion on that I'm going to leave for Phaedra for the end. Sheree, I don't see the point of Sheree coming back. I'm. I, what can Sheree talk about at this point? Sheree has nothing to talk about. Or if she does, like given you the real tea said, she's not going to be real about it. Because Sheree is all about putting on airs. Now, if Sheree decided to come onto this show, like giving you the real tea said, and be real about actually everything that's going on, show her struggling and showing her trying to get up out of whatever hole she's in, then I'm here for. But outside of that, all shit we all know from the very beginning, because I've been rewatch I've been rewatching Real Housewives again from the very beginning. Sheree has from the very beginning has been putting on ears. She puts on ears, she thinks that she's this grand dumb that she's not. So I don't really care to see that. Now Phaedra. Now Fay Fay now? All right. I never really spoke my two pieces on the whole thing with Candy and the whole thing because I feel like people will think that I'm being insensitive about it. I'm not going to... I didn't take that as big of a deal as everybody else did. I understand. I will say that was it wrong? It was absolutely wrong. Phaedra was wrong for how she handled that. She's wrong for throwing Portia underneath the bus. She's wrong for everything that she did. However, comma, for entertainment purposes, we need Phaedra back. We do. I would live for Phaedra to come back. First of all, I think Phaedra got a new man, so we wouldn't even have to worry about, you know, Phaedra's going to give us, she's going to give us something. And we need her because she, just her reads, we're just everything, and we're missing that, that snap back. If y'all would really want to make it super messy, bring Phaedra back and also bring on uh, Apollo's um current fiance, if y'all want to be real messy about it. But outside of that, I, I 
agree with your mutual royalty. Scrap the whole fucking cast. Because to be quite honest, I don't give a fuck about none of these people. I don't care about Nene no more. I don't care about nobody on this show no more. Except Loki. I like Eva. And that's just because Eva is a little bit more newer. She ain't been really saying much. But I feel like, like, I just watched a little interview where Eva pretty much has said, she said, like, I'm going to admit the fact that I be shady. That was everybody's problem with Eva. Eva would throw shade and then try to act like she ain't saying anything. But she sat up there and said that she's sitting in it. So she can really, really sit in her shade. I'm here for it. I like Tanya. I like her energy. If y'all gonna keep somebody, keep the young ones. Keep Eva, keep Portia, and keep Tanya. Get rid of the rest of these hoes, because we don't care. We don't care, okay? So that's that. That's the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, oh, the Real Housewives of Potomac. Um, we I seen the trailer for that. It looks pretty interesting. Giselle's gonna get back with Jamal Bryant. Don't really get why. I mean, I guess that's the father of her kids, whatever. Whatever. Um, it seems like the grand dame and the black Bill Gates is about to be going through it. That's not cute. And Monique and Candace is about to get into it now. Candace to me is spoiled. So, I mean, I'm going to watch it and I'm going to be unbiased. But I'm always team on Monique. That's my bitch. That's my bitch. And I'm rotten for her, period. If she wanted to whoop Candace as well, she probably really should have. I'm here. Candace is a fucking, she's a drama queen. She's a fucking drama queen. I'm here for Monique. So I can't wait for that to play out. Whew, what else is going on? Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um, they've been having these little like uh battles and stuff like that. Um, on Instagram, they had who was the freeze purple? It was Sean Garrett in the dream, which that just became really awkward. Like everybody was just supposed to be cool, and then everybody started arguing, and it was just really weird. But then eventually they started playing music, and of course the dream wins. Like the dreams pin, my nigga, the dream broke single lady we could stop right there he could live off of that check for the rest of his life and he wrote baby by justin bieber we don't have to go any further he could literally live off of those two songs for the rest of his life side fact if y'all did not know christina million who is his baby mama slash ex-wife or whatever also has credits on baby not because she wrote it but but because dream was with her at the time i wanted to give her some more too but his catalog is crazy. And it's not that Sean Garrett doesn't have a good catalog. Because he does. He wrote way more songs than I even fucking thought about. But in that one, Dream Dream got the best of him. This nigga started playing. Dream started playing flaw, flaws and all. I said, oh, it's over. We might as well hang it the fuck up. That's right. Hang it up. Hang it up. Hang it up. Everybody knows if you're in the Beehive, you know, the Dream is literally like... You know how they say like, um, oh gosh, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, like how she, how he, how they're like synonymous with Janet Jackson. The dream is synonymous with Beyonce. They're, I mean, just period. So then we have Neo and we had, oh, how do you say his name? Jo Jonathan? I think, I think, I think that's maybe how you, no, Joanna, jo Joanne, so something like that. I can't really think of his name right now and I feel so bad, but that guy won and Neo lost. This nigga wrote. How is this even possible? He wrote Poppin', he wrote With You, he wrote Like You, he wrote Can I Come Over, he wrote... What is going on that all of these people are this fucking talented? And I appreciate why they did it. Swiss said that they did it because, you know, they want people behind the scenes to get their flowers because they don't really get them. We know who Neo is, of course. Neo come through with the hits. But I never, I've never even heard of this guy a day in my life. And the fact that he wrote all of those songs, like, they got two Grammys because i seen his nice little flags. Give that man his tins. He wrote poppin'. Do y'all do y'all not understand the gravity of the song Poppin' by Chris Brown? Once he I didn't I wasn't watching it laugh, but once he would have turned on poppin', oh well then that's just the end of that. This is over. This is over. This is over. What? Poppin' is literally like pop five best songs from Chris Brown, period. And the top song that he never put out as a single that he should have, okay? What else? What else? They had Hit Boy, um, Hit Boy and Boy Wonder do it. That was a nice little beat battle. But it started off with Swiss and Tim, which I didn't get to see there, so I gotta go back and watch it. Um, but yeah, I just been in this house trying to keep it together. Ooh, one more thing. I just seen this on Baller Alert. They did which one gotta go? Usher Confessions, Chris Brown himself, his self titled debut, or Trey Songs Ready. You know what I said? I have to go then. I personally have to go. All three of those those CDs are literally staples in each of those people's fucking repertoire. Uh, confessions? Do I have do I do I have to talk about it? 
Do I have to say confessions? Okay, so we're done talking about you. Chris Brown. Self-titled? They do you? What more can I fucking say about that album? And then Trey Songz Ready. Ready is literally Trey Songz best fucking album. It's the first full-length album by Trey Songz that I actually purchased physically. He hasn't done better than Ready, period. Ready is everything. I can't choose. I, mm. Confessions can't go. Like, Confessions literally can't. If anybody had to go, I would say it has to be me. It would be me like 10 times that I have to go. But then I would say Trey Songs only because out of the out of the three albums, that's like the least, I don't want to say important, but it's the least impactful even though it was really impactful because ready is when trey switched into the sexy trey right but i'm talking about the impact as far as like big wise confessions is confessions confessions went diamond and i really need people to understand what that means a million copies diamond we confessions is confessions like we don't even have to really go down the road you don't even have to ask people when you say that when you say ready some people might might not know if you're not really into trey or if you ain't really into rmp like that girl jupiter love does he do it? Bitch. That does he do it? 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 Eh, 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 eh. Like I do it, like I do it. Bitch, ready goes the fuck off. But yeah, I'm tired, y'all. Y'all get in the comments. Tell me what else y'all want me to talk about. I'm gonna try to do current events more. Um, I didn't know what else to talk about. If I miss something, let me know. Y'all can tell me whatever it is y'all want me to talk about. If it's reality shows that y'all want me to watch, let me know because I need some new shit to fucking um review if it's music y'all want me to review let me know because y'all know i'm a hip-hop head and that's what i do and i'm an r&b girl that's what i do i get down with the hip-hop and the r&b um let me know please get in my comments i want y'all to talk to me so i can talk the fuck back because i am in this house going in the